Thanks very much, Katie. I, was I cycled here this evening, and as I was locking up my bike um, outside, I looked through um, the glass wall, and I think, and I thought, oh, they're having a nice party. <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought, you know, I do feel so proud that all of you have come here thinking, maybe not sure, but thinking you might want to be teachers. And that makes me feel absolutely thrilled and delighted because as Katie said, it was this hunch that we had, that there were lots and lots of people out there who were kind of fed up or you know, just had had enough, had risen as far as they were going to go um, with whatever they were doing and wanted to start all over again. So that was then. Now I am a qualified teacher myself. And um, I suppose when I think about how I spend my days with, with, with the kids, I tell people, it's lovely, it's great, it's all so easy. And that is because memory is very, very short. <laughs> um, so I want to give you a little bit of an idea of just how difficult it was last year. But before I do that, while I'm still feeling proud, so um, two people who will be starting with Now Teach in September um, are going to join the school that I'm teaching at, which is um, Mossbourne Victoria Park Academy in Hackney. And I felt so proud of them as they came and did their interview lessons in my school as if they were somehow my children. And they were both, you know, one was a sort of an investment banker, the other was a woman who is going to teach English, who has been in advertising. And they both come with trails of life experience. And they look like sore thumbs in my school in the best possible way. Why? Because they're so ancient. <laughs> so if we start with something that is bad about this, if you do go ahead and become teachers in these schools, most of your colleagues will be, let us say, if not 22, then maybe 25 or 6. <laughs> you will feel really, really old. But you may feel old in a good way. So um, the first training year, which I, Justin, who is on the first training year, um, will talk about with, 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 without the sort of memory that has, has made me feel cloudy about it, it's knackering. It's absolutely knackering and it's brutal. You all are pretty good or have been pretty good at whatever it is that you've been doing and you won't be good at teaching when you begin. You'll be absolutely useless. So whether you survive and whether it's a good idea does depend a bit on what your feeling is, whether you think it's challenging and sort of fun to start all over again. So on my good things right from the beginning, <laughs> I thought that learning all over again was thrilling. I mean, what the Ghastly Management Consultants call the learning curve. You are at the vertical stage of the le learning curve, which is amazing after a whole career of being pretty much on the horizontal section. That is fantastic. The lack of responsibility is so liberating. So you are, you are only responsible for your own lessons and your own progress and that is completely thrilling too a third thing is you just say goodbye to boredom i mean I, I i was a columnist on the financial times all my working life which is possibly the most fun and the least boring job one could ever have but teaching is um i mean teaching the, the ft was really boring by comparison to teaching you are too busy you're too frantic to be bored for a single solitary second so that is all truly, truly, truly fantastic. Um, the expectations are very low at the beginning, and I found that an absolute blessing. No one is expecting you to be brilliant, which is just as well because you won't be. Um, but the most fantastic thing, the most fantastic thing by a million, million miles are the kids. Now, any of you who go away from thinking, oh, that all sounds interesting, ask yourself, do you like teenagers? <laughs> and it sounds a bit basic, but in our first year, we did lose somebody who hadn't asked him that question honestly enough, and he found halfway through term number one, he didn't like teenagers particularly, so he didn't make it to Christmas. He was one of the few who didn't make it to Christmas. But it's absolutely fundamental to this. If you don't like teenagers, teaching is not for you. The other thing is, you know, Katie said you might be feeling rusty about your subject, but do you actually like your subject? 
So I taught maths in my training year, thinking that, you know, I could sort of brush up my, my maths A-level, which I could just about, but I discovered I didn't actually love it when I was doing simultaneous equations. I thought, well, I know how to do this, and I can explain it, and it's sort of fine, but I didn't absolutely love it. And by contrast, I'm now teaching economics and business studies, which I adore. So if I'm practically hyperventilating with the excitement of um, teaching elasticity of demand, and I really like the kids, even a bad day isn't going to be that bad. So first year, it's completely knackering. It's absolutely knackering. You do multitasking like you've never, ever heard of it in your lives. You, there are so many things that you need to be aware of all at the same time, it seems impossible. You know, you weren't in the lesson last time. I've left your exercise book under my desk in the office. Oh my goodness, I've come with the wrong handouts, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you just, you know, the, the whole thing is unmanageable. But even a year later, mostly I don't forget anything bad in a lesson, which is astonishing from where I was. And I go home tired in the way that says that I've done an honest, day's work, not tired in the way that I have to sort of lie down when I get home. Um, <laughs> but but so, 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 so that's pretty good. But one thing before I hand over on age, even though everyone may think that you're ancient, the weirdest thing about this is that I myself feel younger rather than older <laughs> as a result of doing this. And that's partly because you're surrounded by young people and what an optimistic thing to do. But it's also because when you are learning all over again, the last time I did that, I was about 22. And that is, that is truly, truly wonderful.